Right? Read on. And after that, came his brother out. And after that came his brother out. But you notice, they never told you what his brother looked like. What was his, his business? What was his image? Why? Because he came out looking normal. What did the normal people look in those days? How did they look? What was their, what was their complexion? What they were? Right? How about you, brother? Do you know? Yo, if you question, absolutely, we got answers. What's your question, bro? Yeah. Right. You're Kushite, right? Okay. Right, right. Noah Ham, Noah Ham, and Jaffa. Right. Right. Abraham, uh, later on, uh, That's right. But in Africa, they move with Ham. Ham, they create Kush. Right. Kush create, like, right. Kaden, Kush, Foot, Mizraim. Sammy's and Japanese. They don't have, like, dark skin. Right. Yeah, yo, Yafet. Yafet went over to Europe. Far, 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 far west. Right? Not far east. Far into Europe. Right? Yafet. Now, some, some went what? Asia Minor, Sammy, Middle Sammy, East. Sam is Middle East. Is that Jerusalem, right? This is Sam. Sam is there. Father. Let me show you something. Did not, did not, um, Moses. Moses is in Africa. Born in Norman, in the River, and then taken to Pharaoh. But it doesn't matter. He's Shemite. That's right. right. It doesn't matter where he was born. Yeah, he's Shemite. Uh, those Right, hold on. Before we before we say before we go, right? He's Shema, right? So we grow up as what? In Pharaoh's house, right? Actually, huh? No, he's not he's not him, he's Shem. He's mixed? Where we have Moses' father and mother? I think were, um, what chapter is that? I know we went over what chapter is that Moses' father. Because they both were from the, uh, from the children of Israel. They're from the children of Israel. We're going to prove that. We're going to prove that incorrect. Because Moses' father and mother was of the children of Israel. Okay, we're going to prove that according to the Bible. All right? It doesn't matter you was in that land. Because the land don't make you who you are. But today, what? All kind of people live in that land. But it doesn't make them who they are, right? It's your lineage. Numbers 1 and 15. Okay, let's, well, let's read that. But you still got to give me the Moses' father and mother. That's the pedigree. Right? Yeah, let me answer that first question. Let me, let's, just, let's get that first question answered. Right? Uh, 1 and 15. Read that. 1 and 18. Okay. Exodus 6 and 20. Uh, Exodus 6 and 20? Exodus 6 and 20. Uh -huh. I know, yeah, Kimmy. Uh, that's North Africa. Right, that's North Africa. But see, Kimmy now is not a people, though. But what, 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 what you, you got to realize this. Give me the Bible dictionary. But read, read, read the The book of Exodus, chapter 6 and verse 20. Come on. And Abraham, verse 19. Verse 19 uh -huh. And the sons of Mehari, uh -huh. and Mahali, uh -huh. and Moshe. Uh -huh. These are the families of Levi. These are the families of what? Levi. Of who? Levi. So who's Levi? Levi is one of the 12 tribes of Israel, right? So Moses, his father and his mother was of the family of Levi. So it was not, he was not mixed. He wasn't mixed at all. He was in their land, but it's, you are according to who your parents are. You're, you're a product of your parents, right or wrong. Right? Even if you're born in America, you're still a product of your parents. You could be born in China, that don't make you Chinese. You're still a product of your parents, right? So now give me your uh, numbers. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, 1 and 18. Numbers 1 and 18. Let's get a pedigree. The book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Come on. And they assemble all the congregation together.
together right. on the first day of the second month. Come on. And they declared their pedigrees Read on. after their family Come on. by the house of their father. After the house of your father. So that who makes who you are. Your father makes who you are. His father makes who you are. Your lineage is always according to your father. Now these are your children, they are lineage of you. They are, they, they are descendants of you, right? And your son, that's your son? His children is going to be descendants of you, right? So that's how we, our seed is preserved on this earth. And it's not mixed. The flesh can be mixed, but the seed is never mixed. We know that this is smart. Smart, 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 I was trying to get his voice on the camera. We gotta stay out of the lane. That's right, because it all goes back to the three sons. That's why it's all DNA go back there. Because it all goes back to the three sons. Shem, Ham, and Jack. When you break down DNA scientifically, you're gonna get three, you're gonna get to a strain, and there's only three different of those strings. Shem, Ham, and Jeff. What we're teaching our people, the so-called Negroes here in America, those that came over here in the slave ship, those that were products of uh, of white supremacy, they are the children of Shem. They're not the children of Ham. They're the children of Israel. They're not the children of Ham. I'm going to prove you before you leave. Hold, read that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the Bible. Read that. Help! It's on the Rick Compact Bible Dictionary. This is the Zandavan Compact Bible Dictionary. We didn't make this up. This is a publication that's written. Read, the, read what it says about him. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. The youngest son of who? Noah. Right, so Ham was the youngest son of Noah. Read. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's read it. Let's read. read on. Born, probably about 96 years before the flood. Born 96 years before the flood. Read on. And what of eight persons? To live through the flood. Right, because there's eight people that came through the, through the flood. Noah, his three sons, and their wives. That's eight people, right? Read on. He became the progenitor. The what? The progenitor. That means the father, the first of his people, the progenitor, right? Read on. Of the dark races. Of the dark races, right? Read on. Not the Negro. Not the what? Not the Negro. Not the who? Not the Negro. Not the what? Not the Negroes! Not the Negroes in America, but read on. But the Egyptians! But the Egyptians, right? Ms. Raim, right? Read on. Ethiopians! The Ethiopians, right? Out of, out of, in Ethiopia, read on. Libyans! The Libyans, got Libya, right? Read on. And Canaanites! And the Canaanites. You see that? So what we're saying is according to biblical uh, 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 and, and, and archaeology uh, findings, we're not breaking this up. So now, the real truth is Deuteronomy 101. They get out of here too. You don't have to win the point. You can't get some of this word. Huh? You can get some of this word. Hey, huh? hey. All right? Come on, check it out. You got to teach up people. That's up to yourself. The way you got people up to your true that's dirty. You're a Hebrew Israelite. Right. 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 And we're not Negroes. We're not black. We're not Hispanic. We're not Hispanic. We're not Hispanic. We're not African American. We're not Caribbean. We're not Jamaican. We're not Haitian. We're none of those things. That's right. That's right. What we come to bring back is our true lifestyle. And the children of Israel. All right, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book, the word, chapter 1, verse 1. Read that. These be the words which Moses spoke unto all Israel. So check this out. So now we establish in the Bible dictionary that there's many dark nations, but the Negroes are separate from the children of Ham. Okay? So now, Moses is talking. Moses is about to have a conversation. Who's he talking to? Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spoke. Unto all Israel. So now who's Moses speaking to? According to what we just read. Who's Moses speaking to? Right, but who's he speaking to? Who Moses speaking to? Alright, to Israel. So let's see something about Israel. Now give me the 28th chapter. Give me the 28th chapter, the first verse. So now we got the conversation in the book of Deuteronomy. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Very important that we understand this. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Come on. And hence shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Read on. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right. To observe and to do all his commandments. Come on. Which I command thee this day. Right. That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Why would God 
set the children of Israel above all nations if they kept his commandments. Why would he do that? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? was supposed to be a selected people, he said he would put us on high above all nations if we did God's will. Right? Give me the 15 verse. Let's see what actually happened. Read on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read on. But it shall come to pass. But it will come to pass. Read on. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. Come on. This day, you know, that all these curses, all these what, all these curses, all these who, all these curses, all these curses, read on, shall come upon thee, right, and overtake thee, and overtake us. So we got cursed because we didn't keep God's commandments. I want to bring out one of the most popular curses so you know what people is talking about. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68, read, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again for ship. He said he's gonna bring you into Egypt again by way of ship. What does the word Egypt mean? Why not? What does the word Egypt mean? Egypt. 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 What, 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 how about, you know what the word means? Does anybody know what the word Egypt means? Egyptus, come from the word Egyptus? The Bible tells us. And how do you know it? The book of Exodus. Chapter 20 and verse 2. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means the house of bondage. It means bondage. Right before yeah, Egypt was called Mizraim. Egypt, was called Mizraim. After the people, after the children that was there. They were the children of Mizraim. But what? When, it, when, when the Pharaoh rose up and decided to put the children of Israel into bondage, that was living along with them, that's when they got the name Egypto. Meaning that it's a land full of bondage, full of slavery. All right, so now go back to um, Deuteronomy 28, 68. The book of the rock, chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, okay. thou shalt see it no more again. So now we went into bondage here in America by way of what? Cargo slave ship. That was prophecy about slavery in the Bible. It was prophetic. That was a prophecy about slavery we just read. Right. Yeah, give me that, brother. Let's see what you say is correct or wrong. Right? First of all, the word nigga, right? It derives from. Hold on. It derives from actually, it goes as far back as the Romans, as Greeks, and I'm going to prove it to you according to the Bible. That means black. That's all it means. All it, all it ever meant. Oh, well, we know there's other words that sound similar, but we're not talking about that word. We're talking about why they call us niggas. That was because it was the derivative of the word black. And that word black, we're not even black. So we can't even go by the name niggas, because we're not black. All of us are different shades of brown, right? We do colors from kindergarten. The fact that man calls himself black, how about you, brother? What's your nationality, man? Come here, come here with them goals, man. What's your nationality? Come here for a second, brother. What's your nationality, man? Yeah, what's your nationality? Ah, uh, you trying to... <laughs> I'm African-American, right? So now, how could you be from two continents at the same time? Africa's a continent, America's a continent. Where how could you be African-American? That don't make no sense. You can't be from two continents, right? You from your parents, right or wrong? Your mama and your father, right? That means you have a lineage. That means you are a people, right? So according to the Bible, we bring it out is that we call ourselves black, we call ourselves African-American, we call ourselves all these things, but that don't make no sense. We're the children of Israel. That's our nationality. We call out, we know we are Israelite because why? We recognize that we are descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, according to the Bible, all right? According to the curses that we're about to read. 
But read this out of this book. This is the Babylon and Timbuktu. This is by Rudolf R. Windsor, right? Which is an historian that wrote about the ancient Hebrews and what he found out about them as he did his archaeology throughout the uh, Middle East. Read that. From Babylon to Timbuktu. Come on. Page 84. Page 84. Let's go. In the year 65 BC, uh -huh. the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. Right. So in, in this time, 70 AD, the Roman armies decided to put an end to Jerusalem. Uh, uh, Hebrew population, right? And they captured Israel. Read on. In 70 AD, right? General Vespasian uh -huh. and his son Titus, come on, put an end to the Jewish state, right? With great slaughter. With great what? With great slaughter. So with great slaughter. Read on. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, right? Many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. Right, so the people that what was left in the land, we were getting killed, we were getting hung, we were getting lynched, just like here in America, we don't. During the period from Pompeii to Julius, right? it had been estimated that over one million Jews. One million what? One million Jews. One million who? One million Jews. One million Jews, we don't. Fled into Africa. Fled into Africa. So that we, so that's why that's why you're talking about uh, Nigeria. Hold on. That's why you mentioned Nigeria. Because we fled into the western coast of Africa, right? That's where the slave ships came from. Because the slaves that came to America were not the Hermetic people. They were the, they were the Shemitic. They were the children of Israel. We're gonna read on, check it out, read on. Flee from Roman persecution Come on. and slavery. Read on. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Hold on, what? Black Jewish slaves. The slaves of what? Black Jewish slaves. They weren't no African Americans, right? They weren't no Negroes, they weren't no niggas, they were none of those things. Right. They were black. Jewish slaves. Right. The real Jews are black. Right. The real Jews are those that uh, have that are melanin and colored that came to this island, this country in slavery. Those are the real Jews. This is not wrong. This is absolutely correct. Right? This is absolutely correct. You're talking about you're talking about black people. You're talking about Negroid people that put on Judaism. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's what I'm talking about. That's two separate things you're talking about. Those people in Africa that claim to be the real Jews, that they be uh, those Colossian Jews, they're not real Jews. They took on Judaism, right? The Ethiopians during the time of the Greeks started to take on Judaism, right? We have the history. We know what we're talking about, right? So, Rick, drop that. Give me um, Deuteronomy 28 verse 46.